Thinking of creating your own destiny by moving to Toronto? Well, great choice. I'm Sandra Inamato, and if this is your first time on this channel and you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play in Toronto, make sure you tap the subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. And honestly, we get so many phone calls and emails and texts every single day from people moving here. We just love to help them. So even if you're thinking about moving anywhere in the Toronto or GTA area, make sure you give us a call, shoot us an email, or hit the Calendly link below to book an appointment. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when you're moving to Toronto. Now let's follow Danielle as she creates her own destiny in the GTA and Toronto. I've been in real estate for 15 years, so I know buying a home can be tough. Buying on your own, even tougher. Especially if you're like 27-year-old Danielle, who wants her first home to pay for itself. Are you sure you want to be a homeowner and a landlord? Yes. But her big sis, Jamie, thinks she's still a baby. You could burn toast in here, no problem. Emotionally, I'm a mess. It's time for me to step in. Start thinking about where you can start on the property ladder. She won't be doing it alone, but she will be doing it by herself. My name's Danielle, and uh, I would like to buy a house because I'm studying real estate, and I hope to uh, start buying and selling apartment buildings. I'm putting pressure on myself because, to be honest, who's going to buy a house from a real estate agent when they say that they still live at home? My mom would have expected it from me. I uh, lost her 11 years ago. She was a go-getter. These are your goals. You strive for the best because you are the best. I need Sandra to help me to make the big leap and, uh, and, to, bu and to buy a home. Danielle has set some pretty high goals for herself. I'm going to check out where she currently lives, and while I'm there, I'm going to find out if she's truly ready to kickstart her real estate portfolio. Wow, this is a pretty big house. I'm currently living with my dad and his wife in a house that they built five years ago for the family. So this is your room. What do you love about it? The size is ideal. I know for my first home, I'm not going to find something this big. It is fantastic. I have been spoiled rotten. When they were building the house, I asked for a walk-in closet, and I got it. Wow! <laughs> I possibly maybe even need it bigger. Going into a smaller house, in my own house, it's gonna be a big shock. I see an ensuite, that's amazing. I like having my own bathroom, but you're going to be buying by yourself. You need one bathroom. I guess I need one, but I would prefer two. Two bathrooms in her first house? Interesting. This is quite a kitchen, what do you think of it? I love the island, an island's a must have for me. An island? Okay. This is our table. So there's 13 of us every Sunday that sit around and have dinner together. Danielle's got quite the big wish list for a first home. What are your expectations? I would prefer a two bedroom, possibly three, um, and I hope to have an income property. Are you sure you want to be a homeowner and a landlord all in one fell swoop? Yes. <laughs> are you trying to convince me? I think I'm trying to convince myself. Well, clearly you're still very, very torn about this, and so am I. So I think we have to go out, see both types of options for you, and then figure out what the best thing for you to do is. I work in property management, so I'm running around with my head cut off every day. So I think I can handle being a landlord. There's tenants complaining that someone's parked in their parking spot, or their water's not working. Whatever the case may be, I deal with it on a daily basis. Danielle's budget for a house without rental income is $160,000. In that case, her mortgage payments would be about $740 per month. With a renter, she could spend up to $220,000. After rent, her net payments would be about $450 per month. Whenever we make big decisions in life, we usually bring in a support group. Who are you bringing in? I got my best friend, Danielle. Same name as me. I like to keep it simple. She is a very goal-driven girl. It's time for her to get out of her comfort zone and go do the independent thing. And then my sister, Jamie, she's my everything. She's my sister, my mother, and my best friend. I know that she's independent, I know that she can do it, and I'm very proud of her. What do you think of this whole becoming a landlord and a new homeowner all at once? I can't see you doing all those things. I, I hope that you could, and you will one day, but I think you should start small and grow from there. I disagree. <laughs> I do it. I have a house and I have an income property below it. I mean, it's great. They're paying your mortgage for you, so it just kind of seems like the smart move. Emotionally, I'm a mess. I have baby steps compared to income property. I don't know what to do. I completely <laughs> understand now why you are so torn. <laughs> so let's go look at some places and you guys are going to join us, right? 
Danielle dreams of real estate greatness, but her concerns about being a landlord could hold her back. I'm here to lend her my experience. I found three homes in Hamilton, Ontario that provide different options to minimize Danielle's mortgage payments. The first house I'm showing her is a three bedroom, two bath with a walk-in closet in the master. I picked this first house for Danielle because it has an in-law suite with a separate entrance that could bring in $600 per month in rent. And it comes in under budget at $179,000. Danielle's best friend Danielle has come along to check out if this house could be a money maker. Hey. Oh wow, it's yellow. It's bright. It's really bright. <laughs> and check out the fireplace. If you turn that on, it'll kick out enough heat to warm up this entire floor. This is actually a very large dining room. Could actually hold a larger table, so you could have the table facing this way, so you have options. Which is good, because you're gonna be making us lots of dinner. Yes! <laughs> There's no island. That's true. Although the kitchen is very small, the payoff is the dining There's room. Dining. Danielle's really hung up on this island for some reason. She really needs to let that go. How much time do you spend in the kitchen anyway? <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Okay. The door frames are pretty narrow. Like, this is a very little door. Hey, it's a bathroom. I got Danielle two bathrooms, but she's going to have to rent one. What a oh, small door. Look at the tub. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I definitely like the bathroom. I wish the door frame was a little bit bigger, though. I what kinda... is it with you with door frames? I've I don't know. I like, feel... complain so much. I feel like I can't go through them. <laughs> well, don't walk like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, this isn't a bad size room at all. Bigger, yeah. Is this the master bedroom? It used to be. To the original floor plan, it would have been the master bedroom, but there is another room. You completely missed the staircase. No! Ah, there's an upstairs? Let's go. Ooh, but it's nice. But check this out. Very lofty. Place. This is amazing. It's such a big open area. I wasn't expecting this from the house at all. So that's why I said, the master really is downstairs, unless you want to use this as your master. Yeah, this is oh, way better. Oh, this is way better. This is it's like my own little private loft. It's a great bonus to get an attic that's already been converted into a bedroom, especially at this price. What's behind the curtain? No way, are you kidding no. me? This is the walk-in closet you wanted. This is the best room in the house so far. I love the loft bedroom and the walk-in closet. It's awesome. Let me show you the basement. A bit of narrow staircase. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do we have a kitchen downstairs too? Yes. So I can use this as a really? rental potential. But there is a bit of an issue here. You would have to add some kind of a wall upstairs. And then because this is laundry, you don't want to be encroaching on your tenant's privacy all the time. You could build a wall here. This unit will bring Danielle's monthly payment down to $235. Not bad for someone on their own. With any home, there's gonna be a little bit of work that has to be done to it, so I don't think that's a big deal at all. I can help her do it. Wish that the ceilings were a bit higher, but I, I, I really like it down here. It has a good flow to it. So now that we've seen the whole house, I'm feeling like you like the upstairs and you like the downstairs. It's just the middle you're not that crazy <laughs> about. This house doesn't have the kitchen island or the second bathroom upstairs, but I like it for Danielle because it's at a great price for a house with income potential. I would like the kitchen a bit bigger. You don't really need that much space. Ultimately, it comes down to the kitchen, yeah? Yeah, no, if it had an open kitchen, it would be sold. I love the loft bedroom and the walk-in closet. They're amazing. The kitchen, I wish there was the island, but to have the potential of having a tenant downstairs and having that extra income, amazing. Danielle seems pretty gung-ho to take on home ownership, becoming a landlord, and renovations. But I'm going to show her there's another way for her to achieve her goals. Wow, Coming up, beautiful. Danielle looks at other oh. ways to cover her mortgage, and her confidant becomes her confidant. I'm gonna try to knock some sense into Danielle. You don't cook. You don't need a bigger house. Danielle just saw a house with a fabulous loft bedroom and a walk-in closet. And her budget is $220,000 if she finds a home with income potential. I'm going to show Danielle a house that she can manage by herself without any income from a renter. This house is listed at $159,000. It's got a big kitchen and lots of storage. Her monthly mortgage payments would be about $730. She could easily carry this one without a tenant. I think this house is a great option. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Danielle's bringing yeah, big sister really Jamie along yeah, for this one. It. Oh, it's really bright in here. It's got a lot of natural light. I love it. It's a bit small, less to clean. 
You're not used to cleaning your room, you have to get used to cleaning a house. She doesn't clean her bedroom? I do. Not I on do. a regular basis. I'm busy, I'm never home. If oh. when I'm home, I clean it. Okay. I'm gonna try to knock some sense into Danielle. Uh, she doesn't need a big, huge house. She just needs something small. And here's where the magic happens. This is fantastic. There's so much room. One thing you did say to me was you wanted an island in your kitchen. This one doesn't have it, but you can buy one and it has the room for it. I definitely could see myself cooking here. You could burn toast in here, no problem. <laughs> oh, this is pretty big. Oh, wow. Beautiful. It is a good size. Like, I, as long as the other one's a good size, too. The other one that doesn't exist. This is a one bathroom home. One bathroom. Mm -hmm. I want two. Living by yourself, you only need one bathroom. Maybe we can put one downstairs or something. We can plumb one in. Oh! <laughs> Just like that. I don't recommend it. How much could it even be to put one in? Minimum 5,000, it could be 10,000 depending on if you have to reroute the plumbing and the drainage. She's worried about having to share a bathroom with people who come over. Uh, she doesn't need it. I'm showing this to you because you're buying this home on your own and I was hoping that you would see it as a move-in ready home. This is the master. Very this is a great space. Nice. Go check out the closet. Okay. It's not as big as mine. Oh, it's just slightly smaller, though. You might have to uh, downsize your clothes, get rid of some stuff. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I have no. a solution for this. Come, come, come. Oh, great. I was mortified. There's no way I can get rid of my clothes. You still have clothes from grade six. They still fit. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, oh, wow. Wall to wall closet. It's huge. This could be my dressing room. <laughs> How Hollywood. Yeah, very. <laughs> Good thing you're short. It's not often I can touch a ceiling. Yes, it's vertically challenged. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I don't know if this, this area works for me, to be honest. I'm not sure if it's the great big huge spider in the corner. <laughs> it massive. is a basement, but you could put a roommate down here. It's not suitable as an apartment because the person down here would have to share your bathroom. Since Danielle's really worried about paying her mortgage, a roommate could bring in an extra $300 a month. It's just, you know, it would be nice to have it all. Like, it'd be nice to have the big house and the big garage. And You don't need a bigger house. Danielle's crazy about thinking that she should rent out the basement or need a rental property. You know, she should just be able to uh, live in a house, afford it, and enjoy it by herself. When my sister tells me it's a great place and I'm having doubts, it makes me think that she's right, I'm wrong. What do you think? Just a little small. You're by yourself. You are one person. This house doesn't have everything on her wish list, but I'm thinking big picture. What I like about this house is that it's completely manageable for you because you could live here exactly the way it is, save money for another down payment, move out, put tenants in here, and buy another place. So that speaks to your lofty goals of becoming a landowner and owning lots of residential properties that you have leased out. As much as I want my income property, maybe going to the small route and having something just for myself is the best route. Danielle can afford this house without a tenant. It's move-in ready, and it's a great way to start building her empire. Coming up, we go up in budget. For $225,000, I want an island, and the furniture better be coming too. But this house could reduce her monthly payments to zero. The expensive home is starting to look better now, eh? Danielle is worried about the size of her mortgage payments. I've taken her to two houses, one with a full rental unit and a cozy one without. The cozy house is priced low so she can cover the mortgage on her own. If Danielle wants to be a landlord, this place delivers with a ready-to-rent basement apartment and it has tons of storage. It's listed at $229,000, which is blowing the budget, but she's got to see this place. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. Pretty. My table's pretty big. I don't know if it would fit. It's kind of a small area here. I have to tell you, don't buy real estate to fit your furniture. Buy furniture to fit your space. Because you might pass up a very good real estate investment for the sake of a table. Ooh. This <laughs> is really nice. I know you wanted the island because that's where your family hangs out right now. But does the dining room and living room make up for that? For $225,000, I want an island and the furniture better be coming too. Oh yeah, in Fantasyland. <laughs> yeah, isn't there any other world? <laughs> okay. I hear what you're saying, but let's be realistic here. 
I'm having a hard time adjusting to what I can afford to compared to where I've been living. Let me ask you a question. How much equity are you building where you are? Nothing. Right. So I know it feels like a backward step, but it's completely a leap forward with your future, your life. So stop thinking about where you're coming from because you didn't pay for that house and start thinking about where you can start on the property ladder. Good call. Thank you. Good call. I've been doing this a while. <laughs> Have a look at the bathtub. It's shallow. That's a 60 year old tub. I'd save on water, right? I wouldn't have to fill the whole thing <laughs> Now she's thinking there like a go. homeowner. <laughs> oh, Ooh. check out this bedroom. Oh, I can see myself getting <laughs> used to this. This yeah. place is huge. See, I love that. My wish list is this, 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 and this, but hey, look at this. Yeah, I like this. That's what I love about touring houses. Check out the closet. It's tiny, but I see that there's two of them. One for shoes, one for clothes. Well, where did my pants go? <laughs> I couldn't really ask for anything more, except for an island. Wow, Danielle's really committed to that island. You can use this as a guest room slash office. Let's go down to the basement apartment. Okay. Oh, I don't like this. This is a very flimsy lock. This is the barrier between you and a stranger, and you're living here by yourself. So I would fortify this door and have a series of locks. I don't want to scare you, but you want to keep your area private, and I want to keep you safe. So this is the rental apartment you wanted. Ceilings are high, it's nice and bright, there's above ground windows, and plenty of space. This apartment could yield $750 a month, knocking down Danielle's monthly mortgage payment to about $350. That's sweet. I think Danielle's definitely ready for a rental property. She's had the experience with it in her career, and I think she has the attitude for it. She can do it. She can go all the way. So this is the living space. It's not as big as, say, you would want in a home, but for a rental. For a renter, it's perfect. I didn't give Danielle a walk-in closet, but there is lots of storage. There's a second bathroom, but it's in the rental unit. And there's no island, but there is a beautiful kitchen. This is a great investment for Danielle, as long as the apartment is rented. If you lived down here and got more money upstairs, you could live here virtually free. Property taxes and utilities included. The expensive home is starting to look better now, eh? I know, but what happens if I don't rent it out? What happens if the person doesn't pay? What happens if they trash the place? She went from, wow, I'm going to be a millionaire in no time, to the sky is falling. Well, I just want to be able to make sure I'm comfortable. Like, I don't want to get into something, go in over my head, and end up falling and having to move back home. Oh boy, yeah. you don't want that. No. $225,000 is a lot of money for one person to spend. I wanna go big, I really wanna go big. That's my dream is to go big. I have to do everything in life big. But now it's my money and I need to be smart about it. I don't wanna get in over my head and end up losing everything. I've shown Danielle three great houses and now it's the hour of truth. Will she choose an income property or one that she can afford all on her own? I showed the loft house with the walk-in closet. With some work, it has income potential. The cozy house with the tiny price tag and the ready to rent with the basement apartment that Danielle could live in herself. I think Danielle should buy the house at the top of her budget because in the long run, it's gonna have the greatest return for her investment and it's good for her, she should do it. I think Danielle should buy the most affordable house and not be a landlord. Our mom died when she was 45, saved and worried about money her whole life, and I do not want that to happen to Danielle. Hi, Sandra. Hi. Thanks for coming. So you ready to take the plunge and become a real estate investor? Honestly, I need your advice. I'm pulled in every which way. Do I listen to my sister or do I listen to my best friend? Why don't you listen to you? I don't want to disappoint them. What? You're not buying the house for anybody but you. You are making this decision by yourself, for yourself. Let's focus on your original goals again. What are they? I want to be a successful real estate investor. Okay. And I, I need to start somewhere. Is there one house that is clearly off the table? Or all three contenders? They're all three contenders. Okay. So let's talk about the cozy house. You're not spending as much money right now, which makes it comfortable and affordable for you. And then when you move out into your second property and rent out an entire house, you get a lot of money. The house with the income potential is not ready to yield income yet. You have to put money in and renovations in order to make it safe and viable as a basement apartment. 
Then you go to the high end of your budget, and that property had two units in it where you could rent out the basement, live upstairs, or live in the basement, rent upstairs, eventually move out completely. But that is taking on more risk. Are you prepared for that? That's the question. Am I ready? I, d I don't know. The decision is super scary know knowing that it's completely up to me, and if I make the wrong decision, it falls back on me. I can't blame anyone else. It's just me to blame. Coming up, have you come up with a decision? We are all behind her 100%. Danielle makes her decision, but does she get the house? I showed Danielle three great homes. The affordable loft house with income potential, the cozy house with no rental unit, and the ready to rent with existing basement apartment. So Danielle, you've had some time to think about things. You've slept on it. Lot to consider though. You know what, I know exactly what I want. I want the walk-in closet. I want that big loft bedroom. <laughs> I want the house with the loft. So do you think your mom would approve? My mom would definitely approve. She would be all right with you taking on landlord and home ownership at the same time? I think she'd expect it from me a little bit. You know, she was a go-getter herself, and I think she would be happy that I'm making the wise decision. But I'm ready for it. <laughs> it's time to write up the offer. The house is listed at $179,000, but based on recent sales in the neighborhood, I think that's high. So we're going in at $168,000. Let's see if they bite. Congratulations, you've got the house with income potential. My mom would be extremely proud of my sister. Uh, just as proud as I am, and we are all behind her 100%. I think she'd be very happy that I, I just finally decided to do it. Here's your deal, $168,000, it's all yours. Oh, thank you. I chose the house with rental potential because with me getting into the real estate career, I want to be able to make sure I always have that security. I'm going to move in, I'm going to have my mortgage almost paid for. It's perfect, it's great. How are you feeling? Um, a little bit overwhelmed, but it's good. I'm happy I got it, I'm happy I got it. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, I'm, that was I don't my know. pleasure. I wouldn't be able to do it without you. Danielle is a woman who has dreams of grandeur, and she's just achieved the toughest part of her goal, getting started. I'm thrilled to be part of this journey to greatness, but the truth is, she's doing it by herself. I chose the house with rental potential because I, with me getting into the real estate career, I want to be able to make sure I always have that security. I feel great. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I've got tons of emotions going on. But no, I'm, 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 I'm stoked for it. I'm, I can't wait to move in. information about this show, please visit hgtv.ca. If you're getting ready to move in or around Toronto, please reach out to me with the information in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to keep up to date with new videos. See ya!